Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I make a car crash simulation. So the first thing I do is get my your your uh get your favorite car. What I recommend is cars like this where it's blocky because the ones with 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 like realistic are mostly meshes meaning that they're not actual parts and the and the physics won't work properly. So when you get your your blocky sedan car or something, you can what you can do next is make a long road. So what I'm gonna do is search road, then go over here, and then choose this. And then duplicate and duplicate until it reaches the other end. Okay, it now finally reached the end. So what we're gonna do next is get all the roads and then control D again. Then when you do that, you, sh you can now search touch explode. Then explode on touch. Then you can make a wall over here. Then after making the wall, you can do Control D, and then moving it to the other side. Then duplicate, and then make a wall for the sides. Then when you made a full full cover. You can now get the sedan and place it in oh, in one side. There or there, but it has to, but the car has to point in the other side. Then you can place the spawn in the middle. And when you do that, what you can now do is get the export on touch and place it on front of the sedan. And when you do that. You try to fully cover the bumper. Then when you when you can do that, try to hold Alt and click on the bumper, and try to look for the front bumper. And when that is done, try to weld it with the Easy Weld by Moon Animator. Then animatable and join in place. Then when that is done, you can place the one the the, the explode on un touch inside the car. Then you can place it near the spawn area. And then and then you make the explode on touch invisible. Then when that is done, you can you can do duplicate the car and kind of fill the road and when that is done you can test it out up so when we test it we get in a car oh yeah i think i forgot one more thing uh, may maybe this will kind of help, but you have to set the speed to our to 240 by opening the car in properties and going to configuration and forward speed to 240 and reverse speed 240. And bring it up a little and if it it might work if we anchor it okay we open it and it's movable then it will drive and then when you hit the other side well it explodes and that's how I make car crashing si simulation Thanks for watching and have a great time coding!